Emotions. I'm your host Kendra and today we are going out in the city. Yes, it has been a long time since I've been out by myself. Actually, the last time I went out it was to go to the dentist, so like not that exciting. Um, <laughs> so no agenda. I think I'm going to do some shopping maybe along Fifth Avenue. It might be more window browsing um, and also going to grab something to eat because it is like almost three o'clock and I have not eaten yet. So your girl has an appetite. <laughs> so I thought I would take you guys along with me. But first, let me show you today's ensemble. Okay, since we're going to be ripping and running, I am keeping things cozy and casual. So this is that new sweater dress or cardigan that I made into a sweater dress <laughs> that I got from H&M. I love this beautiful cream color. And for accessories, for jewelry, just keeping it simple, wearing some gold earrings and some gold necklaces, some new Christmas additions. Mm. <laughs> and it's like 50 degrees out, so I didn't want to do bare legs because it is January. So I'm just doing some sheer tights and then these cool C by Chloe gold studded ankle boots that are fun and most importantly, comfortable because <laughs> we will be walking. So that is today. Let me show you the coat that I'm going to wear. Oh, first off, I got to show you my fragrance for today. So I recently picked up this Gourmand Addict fragrance from Zara and I'm really, really liking it. I initially wanted the Rose Gourmand, which is very, very popular, but it's like sold out. I can't find it. But this I like. It has like patchouli, a little bit of cassis, and I'm not sure. Oh, peach. That's another top note. Love it so much. It smells great and it lasts for a very long time. So... All right, peeps, so here's a complete look with my new like puffer trench that I got from Uniglow. And of course, these days you can't leave the house without a mask. <laughs> At the beginning of all this, I was trying to like find those like cute masks with like prints and different fabrics and whatnot. But over time, I found that the most comfortable is just like a plain old surgical mask. So I did find some pink ones on Amazon that I really like. And what's really been awesome and also too to protect your lipstick and makeup are these like mask um what do you call it i don't know what they're called <laughs> but i will link it down below i got these on amazon but you put it on underneath your mask like this and i know it kind of looks like a muzzle but <laughs> it keeps the mask from sticking to your face and your lipstick and i just find it like a lot easier to breathe so yes <laughs> all right so as you can see guys this is what it looks like with the little muzzle thing <laughs> underneath but oh, so much easier to breathe all right peeps so we have made it out to columbus circle it is loud out here but yeah it took me a lot longer than usual i had to hop off the express train i guess we're not social distancing anymore um yeah, the train was super duper crowded so <laughs> I had to get the local train which was less crowded but slower any case i think that i'm going to stop inside of the museum of art and design also known as the mad museum i'm not going to look at the exhibits but i do want to i might look at the exhibits i'm not sure but i do want to check out the museum store the museum gift shop they often have lots of cool things um i like this gift shop but also the moma gift shop is really nice so let's check it out Yeah, I thought these matches were cool, but not for $34. <laughs> now this book is right up my alley. Alright, the museum store was cool, but now let's head to Nordstrom's. bottoms are totally up my alley but it's the last pair and it's a size 37. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think 
these are so cute. They look like little paper bags that cost hundreds of dollars. <laughs> but this one really caught my eye. It has like a little cuff that your arm goes through. How nice is that? Cute. This pink Margiela bag is everything, y'all. Definitely going on my wish list. Look at this Burberry coat. It's reversible. Luckily, they did not have my size. <laughs> All right, grabbed a couple of items and we are in the fitting room now. So they are having a major sale at Nordstrom and I grabbed this cute Ghani dress. I love it so much. All right, next up we have another pink Ghani stunner. This one is so cute. I wish it was like an inch, maybe two inches longer, but oh, I feel like such a doll in this. Next up is this voluminous dress from a new brand I've discovered, Baum und Fergarten. I really like their stuff, so I might get this one. We'll see. Hey peeps, as you can see, it is nighttime. I'm over by Carnegie Hall. And uh, it's the only thing I hate about this time of the year. I don't mind the cold, because you know, girls from Michigan, I got strong stock, but <laughs> uh, it just gets dark so early. It's only five o'clock but it just feels late. <laughs> it's like pitch black outside. But luckily there's tons of lights in New York City. So I was in Nordstrom's for a lot longer than I planned. And my main stop, the main stop that I wanted to make closes at six and I don't want to be rushed. Uh, we're going to pick out some jewelry, hopefully. Um, you guys know how I love pearls and so I thought that I would treat myself, well actually Eric's treating me, um, <laughs> to uh, some pearls from Mickey Moto. So let's go. All right, peeps, we're gonna take a little detour because I saw all these cute little statues <laughs> over here. This is what I love about New York. You just be randomly walking down the street, run into a little art installation. Uh-oh, what are these guys doing? Okay, we made it to our destination, so let's head inside. Midtown is full of these weird random antique shops. I don't know who shops here, but this one I've passed by ever since I came to New York, and these three monkeys always crack me up. <laughs> And look at this piano, like, who uses that? All right, I had to stop and catch the light show at Saks. Ooh, I was waiting all holiday season to see this. So happy. All right, so we still have to do outdoor dining in New York City. So I found a restaurant, uh, it's Chinese food, <laughs> that has heaters. So I'm very excited. And I have like my whole little section to myself. I'll show you guys. All right, just wrapped up dinner, which was delicious. I absolutely love Chinese food. And now I'm just browsing some art galleries along 59th Street. You used to be able to go inside, but now gotta make an appointment. Guys, right, so look at this building up here. See? It's a heart. <laughs> That's so cute. It's like the lights are on in this building and they made it into the shape of a heart. That's so clever. Hey guys we are back at the ranch it's actually a different day um yeah when i got home your girl was tired <laughs> that's the thing i feel like i don't go out as often as i used to so when i do go out 
I'm like exhausted. It's so draining for me. So yeah, it's a new dawn, a new day. <laughs> And of course, you guys want to see what I got. So, I picked up a few goodies at Nordstrom, which I will show you all. And more importantly, you all want to see what I got for Mickey Moto. I'm so excited. So, yeah, it was just me and like two sales associates and one other client. And so, there was no way for me to like film discreetly. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I definitely would have showed you guys around. But yes, the experience was phenomenal. Like anytime you go shopping at one of those high-end like luxury retailers or boutiques, like the service is always top notch. So I got helped by a gentleman named John. He was very, very helpful. And I'll just get right into it. So everything came in this beautiful Mickey Moto bag. And first, you get your envelope with your receipt and everything is inside. And I also have the business card for my sales associate. They're actually opening up right next door, a brand new location. I think it's supposed to open in February, but you know, because of everything going on in the world, <laughs> he said it might be delayed until the spring. So I think I'm definitely gonna go back and maybe get um, a necklace next time. We'll see. Ah, uh, so excited. And then I also got this envelope here. <clears throat> and inside you get your travel pouch. And you also get this really thick booklet. <laughs> and it's like care instructions on how to care for your pearls. So you're not supposed to wear them when you shower. Try not to get perfume on them. Don't wear them while you're exercising. Um, speaking of which, when I went to college, uh, there was a girl, I had to take a strength training class, and she wore a full set of pearls every day in the gym. She would wear the earrings, the necklace, and the bracelet to work out in. <laughs> and I don't, I don't remember her name, but that always just stuck out to me, and I always remember her. So anyway, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> and then in this envelope, I also got my Mickey Moto polishing cloth. And piece de resistance inside this beautiful beautiful packaging <sighs> i love it i mean the packaging itself is just an experience so we'll undo our ribbon here <clears throat> and you open up this outer box and then inside we have our jewelry box and this is what i got a set of Mickey Moto pearl stud earrings. So yeah, I kept it sweet and simple from my very first purchase. I've just been wanting just a nice, simple set of pearl stud earrings just to wear on like casual days, days when like, I don't know, I feel naked without jewelry. <laughs> So I'm just running out of the house and I just want to grab something. This is the seven and a half millimeter size, I believe, or maybe it's a seven millimeter. Yeah, this is a seven millimeter. That's the smallest size that they sell in the store. I think if you go to Nordstrom and maybe Saks, but I think Nordstrom, um, you can also get like a five or six millimeter pair and it's like half the price. But these are the seven millimeter. These come in different ratings. So it's like A, A plus, triple A or whatever. <laughs> I'll link down below exactly what I got, but I got the second highest rating or not there's like the lowest rating and there's one step up so i got those in the seven millimeter they are absolutely beautiful i cannot wait to get a necklace <laughs> to go with them i just want like a simple pearl choker that i can layer with some other things and also too if i go out and i get dressy i can just wear like my set together so yes that was my first Mickey Moto purchase. I am so happy. These also come in a white gold or a yellow gold finish. So I usually wear gold jewelry. So I went ahead and got the yellow gold finish. And I'm very, very happy. I will have these earrings forever. I can give them to my granddaughter <laughs> one day. And yes, I'm just excited. So a very nice experience and a nice treat to myself uh, to usher in 2021. Because, lord knows we need it. <laughs>
so next up I will show you the dresses that I got from Nordstrom and two of them you saw me try on in the fitting room so I'll just pop you know the footage up just to remind you and another one I will show a picture of because you didn't I think I tried that on off camera so because my camera was dying <laughs> so let's get into that so this first dress is the shirt dress from Ghani you guys know I love Ghani like I bought my first Ghani dress um a few months ago I got another one that was a little bit too small working on it <laughs> So I got this one and this is just like a great sort of dress that you can just toss on right outside and I have to think about it. I can put this on with some black tights, some black boots, easy peasy, it's done. Next dress I tried on and I'll pop that footage but it is this gorgeous voluminous dress from Baum und Fairgarten. So I love this dress so much. It's kind of like one of those like Moo Moo style dresses. <laughs> The one that are very, very forgiving. Um, there's plenty of room in here. And the best part about this dress is that it has pockets. Like that's pretty much what sold it for me. Like I was kind of on the fence. Like, do I really need this big voluminous dress? But then I realized it had pockets and I was like, of course you need this dress, Kendra. Of course you do. Um, <laughs> this is a Danish brand. And apparently it's like this hip, cool girl brand um, I wasn't aware of. But I love their clothes. I'm going to do... I think a video coming up because I'm trying to make it a point in 2021 to like lay off H&M and Zara you know um not that I'm not gonna shop at those places no those are like two of my favorite stores but I don't know it gets kind of old and then you always have stuff that everyone else has and I want to give some other brands a try so I think I'm gonna do a roundup of just like brands that I'm keeping my eye on in 2021 so Ghani is one Baum und Fairgarten is another one that I'm keeping my eye on and especially if you can get these pieces on sale so truth be told the reason why I love H&M and Zara so much is because you know it's cheap <laughs> or no we'll say inexpensive but um so like this dress I think originally retailed for $3.29 which you know your girl is not gonna pay um but I got it on sale for $130 and you know I think that that's worth it so yes I could probably get two dresses maybe even three on a good day from Zara <laughs> for the same price but I think you know I'm getting older I work hard <laughs> So I can spin and splurge a little bit. And plus, you know, less can sometimes be more. So yeah, very happy with this dress. Also from that same brand, Baum und Fairgarten, I got this other dress. So this one, I did not try on on camera. So I will pop a picture up for you guys. But this dress in particular, it's again, it's kind of like a sheer material. So the bodice, the top part is completely sheer. Like you can see, I'll stick my hand through here. You can like... Well, it's not coming across on camera but it's see-through <laughs> um but so I would definitely wear like a black bra underneath you can maybe do a camisole if you want but I'm fine um with this and then the bottom um part there is a skirt so it's fully lined at the bottom it's this midi length dress I love the cool pattern like I thought that this it's kind of like an optical illusion almost it's sort of like the zebra and it's like swirly so I don't know what you would call it but I thought it was very eye-catching and it's just like a fun Fun, different sort of piece like I don't have anything else like this in my wardrobe so yes I love this it's super comfortable it's another one of those dresses that's just easy to throw on you know put a pair of like black boots with it or maybe some red accessories if I want to switch it up um, toss on a jacket and just go don't have to think about it so yes yes very happy with all of my purchases all in all it was a great day out I'm glad that I did that because I don't know 2020 was all about staying at home <laughs> all about staying home with the family and I love my family don't get me wrong but sometimes your girl just needs some time to herself 
needs some self-care, <laughs> needs to get out and about in her city alone. And so I'm so glad that I got to do that. It's nice just to like stroll the streets of Manhattan, do a little bit of window shopping, pick up some beautiful pieces, have dinner, sip some sangria, even if it was chilly. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and had just as good of a time as I did. As always, thank you so much for tuning in, listen to me talk about clothes <laughs> roam the streets of new york city if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications i put out videos like this weekly sometimes twice <laughs> and as always until next time stay classy and stay fabulous